I love that Viggle can take me and turn me into just about any character in a kind of video mocap kind of way. But there are points when I'm working on an idea of, say, I want to make an animated film, where I get to a point where, yes, I can do all the dialogue, uh, I can change my voice to be all the characters, but I need martial arts. And just any kind of big action. And I wanted to think of ways to do that as affordably and as simply as possible. So this is going to be a combination of getting motion capture, using that motion capture data to create a scene, and then using the two characters that we're going to put in that scene as different Mixamo elements that we can then composite together and make a little fight scene. So first thing we're going to do is hop over to Mixamo. So here's Mixamo, and uh, if you don't know, Mixamo has a lot of different animations and characters as well. So first off, we're going to go browse a character. So because we're going to be taking a character, putting it on me as I speak dialogue, and then taking that same character and we want to put him in a fight scene, we want somebody that generally resembles what I'm wearing, sort of body dimensions. I have a kind of average build, so this is going to be fairly simple. So we've got a preview of the animation that's going on here. We can see the name right here. And now we have this lady, Maria, with her giant sword. That is not going to work for us. We really want somebody that has kind of the same proportions as me and wearing kind of similar clothes. We don't want anything crazy like these shoulder pads. So we're going to go over in our character list here. And I'm going to just choose this Remy guy since I'm wearing shorts at the moment. <clears throat> and now we've got him doing this capoeira move. We don't really want this capoeira move. So what we are going to want to do is look for some kind of fighting. Uh, so I'm just going to type fist fight in here and look at that. There's a fist fight A, which is one half of this combat and a fist fight B. So I'm going to give Remy fist fight A action. And so now he's blocking things. He's swinging punches. He's getting knocked back. And what we're going to do is now we're just going to say download. FBX is fine as a format. Uh, we're going to do 30. And we really want to say with skin. With skin means that we're going to download the character and the motion. So let's download that. So now we have half of that fight. Let's go grab the other half of that fight. And just to make things easy and clear, we're going to get a second character uh, in place. So I'm going to look through these guys, and again, we want somebody with kind of normal clothes. Uh, here, this Leonard guy is pretty good. Let's use Leonard. Uh, now, Leonard's doing the same moves that we had, uh, Fist Fight A on Leonard. So let's go and give him Fist Fight B. All right. Here's Leonard doing that. Great. Same settings. We want with skin, 30 frames, FBX, and we're going to download that. So in the spirit of keeping this all as uh, affordable as possible, we're next going to hop into Blender, which is a free download. If you don't know how to use Blender, that's okay. I don't really know how to use it either, but I can give you the steps to just set up a little sequence for rendering. So here we are in Blender's uh, typical interface. Now it always starts with this little cube. I'm just going to delete that. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to Import, FBX, and we're going to find that folder that I put everything in. So let's get Fist Fight A in here. And if we just hit play, now we see this dude is kicking and punching, and that looks great. Uh, what you will also notice, if I just grab him over here in the side, that we only have keyframes up to 140. That's when the motion stops, 141. So I'm just going to end this playback at 141. 
And now it'll loop when it gets to there, just when we want to test things out. Great. We're now going to go and import our second person. Fist fight B. So here's Leonard with his animation. For some reason, Leonard comes in as a tiny, tiny person. That's okay. What we're going to do is uh, grab this move tool. Going to move Leonard over here. We're going to rotate Leonard. Uh, we could do it over here, but that's not going to be very accurate. We just want to go over to the side and type in 180. Just going to grab the scale tool and we're going to go anywhere in this circle and scale him up till he's about the same size as Remy. And there we go. Uh, here we now have them fighting and it looks pretty good. Let's see the foot contact. Yeah, it's it's they're connecting. Now if you find they aren't quite coming in contact with each other, you can always just grab the move tool and move Leonard or Remy where you think they need to go. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we already have kind of a camera in our scene here. But it's uh, if we were to render this right now, you would see this really wacky angle of their legs. So what we're going to do is just very easily go over here to this tiny, tiny... Let's see where that was again. Tiny, tiny arrow. And we're going to go to View. And Camera to View. What that's going to do is... If I go over here and say view camera, active camera, I can now pilot this. So I'm using alt here. Uh, now this is alt middle click and alt and a right click is making me zoom in and zoom out. So I'm just gonna use these tools to frame things up. You could always use these tools up here uh, this will be your zoom in, zoom out, your pan. Oops, and that's not what we wanted to do. Uh, and then this sort of gets us where we want to be with our framing. So let's give it a quick test, see how things are. So I like this view. We've got uh, a nice, good, clear view of the action. And at the end of the shot, both men kind of go out of frame. Great. <clears throat> now if we do a quick render. These guys don't look very good. Uh, and that's okay because we're just using them for their motion and their general size. So what we want to do now is render each of these characters out one at a time so that they're separate on screen. That way we'll be able to bring them into Viggle and put a skin on top of them. First off to set our uh, render settings, we're going to go to this little output looks like a printer and we see here we've got frame rate of 30 frames per second 1920 by 1080 that's all good frame 1 to 141 great now here we're going to want to change this to you've got a bunch of image options ffmpeg video great uh, and now we're going to go down to encoding and this will let us pick what kind of video we're going to make we're going to say an mpeg4 uh, and here are our settings. This is all good. It's just H.264, medium quality, great. We don't need this to look good. We just need it to uh, exist. Now, again, if we were to render this, we're going to see we have both characters on the screen. So we need to hide one guy, render a sequence out, hide the other guy, render the sequence out. Over here in our scene collection, I'm going to just drop this down and... This is our first character here, Remy. And we're just going to go here. So you've got these hiding icons, hide in viewport. But what we want to do is disable in renders. So we're just going to take all his pieces and disable those. And you'll notice he's still here. Nothing has changed. But if I were to go render image, he's gone. What we're going to do now is go over to the output. And I'm just going to give it a name. We'll call it, call it Remy. 
and hit accept. Well, that's not Remy, it's Leonard. I'm going to call this Leonard. And we now have our right path. We've got a right file format. So let's just go up to render animation. And it'll slowly step through this animation. So now that uh, Leonard's done rendering, we're going to unhide all of Remy's parts. And let's go into Leonard and hide all of his parts. And just a quick render image, and we can see Remy's here. Great. It's going to go over here and change the file name from Leonard to Remy. And let's hit render animation again. So now we have character A, we have character B, they're separate. What we want to do now is go into Viggle, put a character skin on top of them. To create that skin, you can use kind of any image generator. You could draw a picture, whatever kind of human-ish creature you want to put on top of these guys. All you have to do is get that image ready and let's set this up in Viggle. So under motion, we're going to go to our folder and we've got both Leonard and Remy here. I'm going to grab Leonard first. So great, we've got Leonard's motion here, and what we're going to do is a couple of changes. Oh, that's all nice and good. Uh, what we want to do now is put a character on top of him, and I'm going to use this guy for Leonard. So this is Leonard, this is his animation. A couple of changes we're going to make here is we want this to be on green screen so it'll be easy to composite. We also want to use V2, not V2 Turbo. And the reason we want to do that is that V2 is just better at uh, keeping the face intact. So I'm just going to let that get going. And next we're going to go in here and let's grab our Remy animation. There he goes, and we'll grab this guy to be Remy. So again, we want green screen, model V2, and we're going to create that. If you look here, we can now see our finished Leonard animation, which I will download. Okay, here we are in Viggle, and we also now have... animation here great so we're gonna just download this so next we're gonna hop into an editing program I'm using DaVinci Resolve you can use anything that has kind of a chroma key function to it so I'm just gonna import my two green screen clips as well as a background that I'm gonna put them in front of and we'll start by putting the background in and now let's put, uh, we want the clip that's going to be furthest back. So that'll be this guy. And now we'll grab Leonard and put him over here. So we need to do next is just key out the green. This will all depend what editing software you're using. In my case, I'm going to use this 3D keyer and just paint out the green here. There we go, we've got the two of them together. Uh, let's also key out the green on this. So it looks pretty good, but we've got a bit of... Uh, just gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. We wanna shrink that green outline maybe give it a tiny bit of a blur and we'll do the same here all 
Okay, how does this look? Great, pretty good. Uh, one change I'm going to make. I'm just going to blur this background a little bit with a lens blur. Maybe not so intense. Okay, there we go. We've got a little bit of a fight scene. So that gets the basic job done, putting the two characters against the background plate, and we now have them looking good. We can do a couple of improvements to that. If we want to add some kind of camera shake every time one of them hits each other, we can do that. So there you go. Easy peasy. Uh, now we can cut from me saying something like this to the fight scene. I'm the guardian of this forest, and anybody who wants to cross through it will need to go through me. I'm going to make it across to the other side, no matter what it takes. So if you need some other animations and Mixamo seems a little limited to you, they don't really have that many two-part animations. Uh, so if you wanted something like a fight scene, you might not be able to use a lot of the animations from Mixamo. Uh, another option here is Actor Core. These are not free, but Actor Core has a lot of options here. So you can see we have some pretty good options here for different halves of animation and they're fairly affordable. They're anywhere from $2 to, to $4 for these little animations. There's also mocap.market which is from Perception Neuron and that has hundreds, maybe thousands of animations of different kinds. Uh, anything from fighting to sign language. I'm the guardian of this forest, and anybody who wants to cross through it will need to go through me. I'm going to make it across to the other side, no matter what it takes. Vigle it just a little bit. I want to see you vigle it.